Welcome to Ascension Integration with Sandra Walter. Hi, welcome to Ascension Integration. I'm Sandra Walter. This week I'd like to discuss spiritual coming out, which is the process of speaking, thinking, and behaving and being right in your truth as an awakened person. Now this is a difficult situation for some people, even though we have millions of people around the globe experiencing the awakening phenomenon and getting to open themselves more and more to these amazing energies that are coming through and discovering their higher skills. Suddenly people are experiencing a lot of phenomenon and light beings and all of these different levels. But even if you're not that far, even if you're, you're just knowing your truth at this point, knowing that you are a lot more than you have been taught, there comes a time when you have to put up or shut up when it comes to living a double life. A lot of folks are online or have found a few people to talk to about the awakening process. And even though we have millions of people around the globe, there are billions of people in the world, and you might be the only person in your town or family or in your social circles who have experienced the awakening phenomenon. And it could be a very lonely place to be. And even though we find connection either on the web or in smaller meditation groups, or maybe you're lucky enough to have a friend right in your, your same town that you can sit down and talk to about this, there comes a point where we can't separate our conversations online and with those other folks who have awakened and the people who have not woken up yet. And here's why. In order to amplify the shift and accelerate consciousness, we know we're moving into unity consciousness, we know that things are changing, we know that in a couple months it's going to get a little hairy energetically, we want to be ready for that. So how do you get ready for that? There's a level of awakening when you just cannot hide your light anymore. And the idea of not coming out till it's safe or sitting on the fence creates a vibrational mismatch, not only in your life stream, but it also energizes the old paradigm, that disempowerment. It's not safe. I'm afraid. I don't want to say anything. I'm going to wait until some announcement comes out or something is really obvious that then uh, it's safe for me to talk about it. And waiting, sitting on the fence, is agreeing to disempowerment. Now we know that our free will has been tampered with on this planet. And we want to make sure that we are not engaging those agreements any longer the uh, agreeing to fear and those safety mechanisms and we want to make sure that you know everything is safe until we can come out and talk about this letting others control what you say think feel even if it's on a subtle level of friendship work person you're talking to at the bus stop continues that old paradigm uh, agreement of disempowerment and that shadow of that third dimensional structure will continue until we get rid of it. So now is the time to step into authenticity. Now this is something that I've noticed recently and I know it's been going on for a while but it's just started to not bother me but it seems kind of silly to me. We have a lot of uh, star seeds and folks who have uh, not a fake account, but an account under a, a different name when they go to a social media site like Facebook or Twitter or whatever, they're star seed, galactic, super angel, rainbow wings, and don't use their real name. They have a separate account for their Facebook because they don't want anyone to hear their conversations about the awakening process or what they're exploring. And this again, this double life is creating and energizing this that timeline that we talked about last uh, last week of disempowerment so why should we hide if we know it's the truth if you know in your heart that your awakening is real and you're not just regurgitating other people's material from the web and not just retweeting 
uh, content from other people who are talking about this openly, if you have reached a point where you authentically know, okay, I understand what is happening to my body, I understand what is happening to my mind and my light body and my spirit, and I understand the path of humanity and what has occurred here, we want to make sure that we are not agreeing to hiding all of that and making it not safe. Now, many of us have had journeys where uh, that did not end well, where we were out and we were um, either ridiculed or taken off the planet or you know assisted out of town for speaking our truth. That's not happening anymore. It's not happening. And I know that a lot of people are very afraid of speaking out right now. And I can tell you personally, as someone who has a very open website and is now doing a radio show and is very active on Twitter and Facebook and just came out of, out of the spiritual closet a couple years ago and has just, you know, I've, I've really got it out there. It's safe. It's fine. I'm telling you, it's fine. Yes, there's going to be friends who are not going to understand what's going on. But here's the thing that happens. The friends fall away or they just kind of keep quiet. And then all of a sudden, because we are experiencing an increase in frequency, they start getting an inkling. They start getting some of the energy. And they say, you know what? I think something's going on. And they say, wait a second. Sandra's been talking about this for a few years. So now I'm going to go talk to Sandra. And I haven't talked to her in, you know, a couple of years. And I have friends like that who disappeared, dropped off, you know, vibrational drop off, totally left. And now they're starting to say, huh, I think something's up, you know, and people are starting to get suspicious about what is really happening in the world. But here's the thing. If you have your spiritual coming out now, that means using your real name, starting to talk about these things openly. And this isn't about preaching, converting, trying to control people. This is just honest answers and honest feelings in the moment. This isn't a planned manipulation of your friends to try to get them to wake up. This isn't, you know, having a full-blown lecture at the office work party. This is about answering questions honestly when people ask, what'd you do this weekend? And you know full well that you went to a medicine wheel meditation and you were all activating your DNA and it was amazing and you still are buzzing with that energy. But instead of explaining what you really did this weekend, you say, oh, not much. What'd you do this weekend? That kind of habitual answer that how are you? Fine, fine. How are you? How was your weekend? Oh, great. Let's complain about something. Let's take that right off the menu. And what happens when you answer people honestly, and it depends on how open you want to be about it, because you don't have to tell them everything that happened, because obviously people are not going to understand. But it'll do a couple things. Either the person will end the conversation quickly and think you're weird, which hardly ever happens because now we are vibrating a different level altogether. And when you approach people authentically and honestly, it, they melt. It's amazing right now. People are, their higher self is just dying for this conversation, just waiting for that little bit of light to get in. And when you start planting these seeds of, oh, I went to a spiritual gathering, they might ask, they might not ask any more questions. They might follow up, they might not. They might, you know, talk behind your back. Heart, you know, probably not going to happen, but you might have some very polarized people in your circle, but uh, chances are they're, they're going to accept it and go, oh, okay, and they're going to kind of store that, that seed that you planted in the back of their head somewhere, and when they start having their awakening, because this process is going to start hitting a lot of people, a lot of folks are not going to understand what the, what the end game scenario is. They're, they might look at the, the political and the governmental and the financial world as that is their world falling apart and not realize that this emergence of new humanity is happening at all. So you can be the one with the spiritual coming out. They already know that you are tied into something else because you've been casually 
dropping it into conversation or giving your direct opinion when asked instead of a pat answer. And when we get rid of that polarity altogether, they're going to have somebody to talk to when their awakening begins to occur or when they have questions. And that's when you find these fascinating conversations because these folks are ready for something else. Everyone's ready for something else except, you know, the folks who are trying to continue the old paradigm. So let's make sure that we are not any part of that old paradigm. Just forget it. Let it drop away. And I know that a lot of people are afraid of, oh, my, what about my job? What about, you know, this, that, the other thing? Okay, how y you as infinite consciousness, you as a divine human creator incarnate, what are you doing worrying about the system that only serves the system at this point, has nothing to do with serving humanity? Why would we do that? Why would we continue to play that game? So what we need to do is step away from the game, start getting authentic right in our own life streams. And whether it's with family, at a family gathering, which can be very difficult. I know that a lot of, especially a lot of young folks who are still in college or living at home have this terrible situation going on right now where they, their parents and, and themselves just cannot see eye to eye. The parents are very polarized because they still want to control that child. They want that child to be just like them. They're very stuck in that. And they cannot accept that this child is experiencing all of these beautiful things. And again, it depends on how the, how the child has approached the parents about their awakening. And I'm just going to insert this here right now. I just wrote an ebook a couple of weeks ago and it's for free. It's on my website at sandrawalter.com and it's called What is Happening to My Friend? And what I did is I just put a very brief 23 page booklet together of exactly what is the awakening phenomenon and what is happening to my friend. And it is designed to be a very basic introduction to the awakening phenomenon for people who are have not experienced that. So it's specifically for parents or coworkers or a friend who's like, I don't understand what's going on. It's like you're speaking a completely different language, which is very common because you know the Ascension and Awakening band has a very different tune. So our language doesn't even translate to some folks. So what I did is I put this ebook together and it's meant to be a catalyst for easing into that conversation with people that you're having a hard time communicating with. And I'm very, very happy and very pleased that so many starseeds have written me and said, this book is just what I needed. You know, it doesn't solve the problem instantly, but it gets you talking. So this is a, this is a tool that you can use and it doesn't matter if you're young or old or what, it doesn't matter. Take a look at it. It speaks strictly from a scientific alignment, DNA cellular structure point of view. It doesn't get into heavy duty ascension or awakening symptoms or anything like that. It does, however, suggest at the end of the book, I kind of flip this around because so often the, the awakened are asked for advice and assistance by the unawakened because they kind of they associate awakening with being psychic, which is true, but we want to step away from the whole psychic reading phenomenon because we're, we've been doing that paradigm for too long and uh, that's, it's very disempowering. We want to actually teach people how to communicate with their higher self at this point. But because the unawakened tend to look at the awakened as this old paradigm, now you're a psychic, or read my cards, and it flips it. At the end of the book, it says, here's what you can do for your awakened friend. Because awakening is a tough process. This is very difficult for some people, and it's challenging for all of us. This is evolution. You're changing your cellular structure, and you got the hit first. You know, we are a, a band of people, a club of people that have, for some reason, we have these pre-agreements and these contracts and we've 
done enough work to be the one in the family monad or the soul group to get pushed first. And again, that's, you know, your whole, that whole soul group and that whole family monad has decided before you even come in here that you're going to be the one to wake up first. So have a little compassion that they are doing that for you. But what I did at the end of what is happening to my friend is I made suggestions. Awakening is very challenging. Here's what you can do to help your friend or your family member or your coworker. Support them. What do they need? Ask them what they need. If they bail on plans, here's why. The vibration makes you nuts some days. Forgive a bad mood. Or if they have to be alone for a couple of days, understand that it's nothing personal. And this isn't about hierarchy. So take a look at that ebook because I think it'll be helpful when it comes to initiating conversations with your unawakened family and friends. But let's get back to um, spiritual coming out and how it emphasizes uh, the new path, the path that we want to be on. And if we all want everyone to awaken, we have to make it safe. We have to make it normal. And what we're doing is we are paving the way for near future assistance by talking about this now. And again, not in a preachy way. Polarity is tired, though. Duality is gone. So let's not make that painful for ourselves as we move here. If we wish that the world were different, we have to change this structure of hiding our light. And this is a 24-7 thing. This isn't, well, I'm just going to hide myself for eight hours at work, and then I'm going to go and fire the grid for 15 minutes after work, and that makes me feel better. Well, we're still creating a mismatch. So let's make sure that we are paving the way for future assistance, paving the way for this to be easier for everyone else, making this normal, because it is. I mean, this is evolution. We just happen to be the very lucky people who are alert of this process. And we understand what's happening, and we understand that it's not easy. And anyone who has gone through the clearing phase in the last couple months, which has finally come to a close, anyone who has experienced that understands that oh, that's why I got hit so hard, so that I am ready. Now you are in the position of way shower, but you're not in the position of way shower if you are using a fake name and preaching authenticity and then not saying anything to your friends and family because you're afraid of it. So let's get rid of that altogether because the spiritual coming out just by being authentic. And again, you don't have to preach. Just wait for people to ask questions and answer people in a genuine way. Behave around people in your light. And what you do is you change the energy all around you. If any of you are having trouble with manifestation, this may be the block. Judging other people or resenting other people. How come they haven't woken up yet? They don't understand, they'll never understand. That kind of judgment creates a block, a wall, an energetic wall around you. So you're going to live in this, you're, you're creating more isolation. It's already isolating enough to be awake in this society. Let's not make it any worse. When you are walking in your genuine self, not only are you creating an energetic structure around you that makes it okay for others to come up and talk to you or ask you questions because as you start to plant these little seeds of oh that's what she's into or oh he's experiencing that and then they run across something else and it leads them right back to I need to talk to John about that. John's been talking about that at the water cooler and that conversation was much more interesting than anything I've seen on television lately, <laughs> which is the fun part. Don't we wish that the shift were so popular that you could actually turn on the TV for an hour a night and watch something about, here's the, the, the new thing that happened today. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Probably won't happen for a while. 
So as we move into this energetic structure where it is safe, you, you create that safety around you and you create this, this magnet, this kind of magnetic resonance where people who are beginning to awaken or are at least curious or feeling the disharmony within their own life, if you can be open about welcoming them in and honoring their journey, you will find an amplification and acceleration of your connection with your higher self and your guides that is going to blow you away. Because what happens is your vibration starts to rise and rise and rise because you are expanding your cells and making it okay to be here and okay to go through this process. We want to make sure that we are emphasizing the path to the new and not being afraid of the path to the new. And people will say, well, I'm not afraid of the path to the new. I go to my meditations or whatever, and I have a full-blown activation, and I'm vibrating for three days, and then I go and, you know, argue with my boyfriend, or yell at my mom, or cannot, you know, I'm steaming mad at my boss because I can't tell him what I really think. Why? If (laughs) If your human creator incarnates, why are you hiding? What are you still afraid of? And it can't be, it's not the individual. You're certainly not afraid of the, the man or woman who is your manager. You're certainly not afraid of your parents. You're certainly not afraid of your friends. So what's going on here? You're actually still trapped in that control matrix, that manipulation of fear that has been emphasized and so ingrained into our DNA and our cellular structure and our memories and the planet. And as that busts apart, we want to make sure that we're not holding on to those fears because that can become not only uncomfortable, but your ascension symptoms, your awakening symptoms are going to get very uncomfortable because this is vibrational mismatch that is the the vibration, the frequency of the planet and the photonic light that is coming in right now are pushing all that stuff out. So saying one thing and doing another, doing that that political game, is being blasted off of the planet. And even though everyone is is continuing to wait, wait, wait for the for the world to change, it's it doesn't make sense. If we all want this shift to happen as quickly as possible. Just imagine, no matter what your belief is about what's going to happen in December or over the next year, no matter what your your faith is in right now, imagine if the perspective came through where we could not all shift to a higher frequency and all of this this control endgame would go on until 51% of the population was walking their talk 24-7. Just imagine how long that would take if people continued this process of hiding themselves, knowing better, doing the same, knowing a higher vibration, keeping himself locked in fear. Just imagine how long that would take. So what we need to do, because we have been activated, because we know something is up, we have to make sure that we are being honest with everyone. This doesn't mean lashing out at people. This doesn't mean correcting people. This means from the heart-centered, infinite consciousness that you are, with compassion and with honoring and respecting other people's journeys, just speaking your truth in a very kind and open way and every time you get met with polarity and someone wants to push back or debate answer don't answer that with more pushback don't match that energy you're out of that energy get into that neutrality where it doesn't matter what that person is saying i know what my truth is and you can say blatantly I respect your opinion. Are you hearing mine? Do you think it's possible? And just ask questions. Socratic method really works for the shift and these conversations. 
because when people have to answer questions like why do you think that person is behaving that way or why do you think the news chose that story why do you think politics and sports are at the top of the agenda why do you think we're getting into another war and people might regurgitate the news or they might be stymied completely like I don't know it must be something higher up the ranks they're probably making money for whoever that's the conversation that you want to have so when you ask people respect their opinion and be kind and say you know I suspect you know from my perspective I'm seeing this or from my experience I had this uh, this amazing activation I had this amazing experience at a meditation that I've never felt before and it was amazing if you ever want to come you know come on with me and invite them into that circle because so many people are wanting it and they have no idea that they even want it their level of awakening is creating this uh, this change and a fear of change at the same time so they're going to be a little confused for a while I still feel that the frequency might actually make a few people go nuts by the end of the year because they're not going to understand what is happening and that is why it is so important for us to learn those lessons of empowerment that true self-love knowing who your true self is and respecting and honoring that by expressing yourself in a genuine kind loving way or if you're pissed off go ahead be pissed off don't lash out at, at somebody who doesn't deserve it or apologize immediately let's not cling to that and let's not stuff our emotions down or anything like that but if we are truly experiencing this new light especially since the equinox this equinox new moon combination this week brought in a completely different level of energy I am I am on cloud nine I feel like I'm in a dream half the time it's beautiful energy and if we're really feeling that and we've already done the work and cleared we we are the ones who are going to be ready and if your friends already know, your coworkers already know, and your family already knows that you sat down at Christmas dinner and were smiling and you're, you're going to the family reunion or whatever events or the family picnic and you're wide open about your spirituality and not afraid that, oh, it doesn't match what's going on in the family, so what? It doesn't matter. And this isn't a defiant teenage, you know, I'm going to say what I think no matter what you think this is honoring everyone's path but you have got to be open about that and release the old paradigm from getting energized any more than it already is we are we know how horrible that that end game is is and going is going to be so let's not help it let's not help team two let's get on timeline one and make sure that we're energizing the new path and that new earth paradigm is not about you know I am love and light all the time yeah we'll be there in a fifth dimensional frequency but our transition this is evolution this is us transforming the way that we communicate with other people this is us busting apart the old paradigm by being in that state of open harmony compassion honesty just being authentic how are you today? You know what? I got a little bit of the ascension flu. <laughs> and let people let the cards fall where they may. People will either ask or they'll say, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Or at least you've started that conversation. At least you've been honest about where you are. And authenticity, this is a, another strange perception. Authenticity is not about when I am that perfect person you know not procrastinating until I am completely in my light and then I can be authentic because then I know what's going on authenticity is where you are at right now and it's meeting other people where they are at right now this is unconditional non-judgmental communication and it makes it safe for other people to be in unconditional non-judgmental communication we have to spread this like wildfire it is needed 
it needs to be amplified, and it will make it easier for all of us to get through the shift. It doesn't mean that you have to start a website. It doesn't mean that you have to find a million articles and blast them to your friends. It just means maybe I don't need the, the spy account on my Facebook. Maybe I need to use my real name. Maybe I need to share this with more than just this tight circle of awakened friends. Let's not create a walls around the camp. This is not a camp. We're moving into unity consciousness. Everyone around you is reflecting what you are creating in your life stream. So if you are in a polarized situation with someone, you're creating that together for a reason. And the reason probably is you need to be authentic and understand that they're playing that role so that you can learn that lesson of self-love and being true to yourself. And the self-love has nothing to do with controlling other people's opinions. It has nothing to do with expectations and trying to control people's behavior. It just means you be genuine and the world will be genuine. War and violence will be around until we don't need it anymore. If you have war and violence within yourself, it's gonna, we're going to keep having it. There is no waiting for someone else or some outside force to come in and change humanity. We are doing it ourselves. The return of the Christ is us. This is not another being. This is not an energy doing something to you. This is simply us activating us. And these lessons of empowerment free the collective to experience something new. This moves the shift along. Yes, there's going to be gateways and portals and happenings and other strange phenomenon occurring. I'm, I'm pretty much going to guarantee it at this point. I've done so much research about ascension and all these alignments and these galactic cycles and the science and the physics behind it. It is impossible in my mind that something really mind-blowing won't happen for a lot of the population. I'm not saying everybody. I really don't think that everyone will experience the same thing at the same time. I think that's near impossible considering our the history of humanity and the different levels of awakening and all the different cellular structures and what people have done to their body vehicles and, and their consciousness. But if we create ascension and awakening as a fluid, compassionate, normal thing, we are going to be able to create and anchor that vibration right within our community, right where we live. There is no going to another event in order to create something and then we come back home and can't talk about it. Talk about it. The shift is not happening on its own. Yes, the planet is changing. Yes, the frequency is changing. But waiting for others for proof or waiting for proof that others will see is never going to happen. And this isn't a henny-penny situation. We're not talking about the sky is not falling. We are just making it safe for others to speak their truth because it hasn't been. It hasn't been safe. And you can see that in all of our leaders it's not safe for them to tell the truth. They have to say what people want to hear. And we, we cannot do that anymore. We can't expect them to change. We can't expect a congressman or a president or a world leader or a corporate CEO to tell the truth if we are not doing that right in our own life stream. And that's very, it's, it's a very important addition to your awakening process as well because as I said earlier you create that energy around you and you become a magnet for authenticity and that raises your vibration and it makes it safe not only for you to exist in this dual paradigm that we have going on right now but it also opens you up to your higher realms how does it do that the higher self is not stepping down into a denser structure. We are going up. In order to communicate with your higher self, in order to communicate with your guidance realms and get into that manifestation zone that we're all talking about so much, we have to step up. There is no step down. 
And until you get in the range where you are open enough and honest enough and yes, I am ready, and that is got, that's got to be a completely authentic yes, I'm ready, I welcome you in. That's got to be all the way through the live stream. I welcome you in, but I'm not going to really welcome myself in while I'm at work because I don't want anyone to know. Or I'm really going to welcome my higher self in and totally embody my higher self, but I don't like what my boyfriend is doing and I can't tell him. Or I'm afraid of losing my roommate or whatever. This is a level of vibration that lifts us to communicate with those higher realms and opens us up energetically to those higher realms. So when it comes to raising your vibration, there's a lot of stuff you can do. But if you're still in that, that walled in, not safe to talk about all the time zone, you want to make sure that you step out of that. And it's not as difficult as you think. Again, you will see people melt with these conversations. I am, I am in Western New York right now, which is where I grew up. And the conversations that I'm having with old friends and family members right now, I didn't think a year, a year and a half ago, I didn't think we were going to happen because I assumed that they were going to stay at the same level, I was going to keep going, and there was just never going to be a match. And you would not believe, just by being right out there with everything that is going on with me, people approach me, we have conversations, I'm having the most amazing conversations with my parents right now. And it's beautiful. It is beautiful that the family monad who has who decided with me in pre-agreement that I would be the first one to wake up in the family. Great, pop, I'm out. And now I get to share what I've learned and I see levels of awakening occurring around me. I see it with my friends. All of a sudden my friends are starting to show up on Facebook again saying, hey, I, I'm kind of interested in what you're talking about. I've been talking about this for years, you know, and now they're back. So the energy is affecting everyone, so let's not assume that people are going to stay where they're at. We're not staying where we're at. This is evolution. It's happening to everybody. We're having a heck of a lot of solar flares lately. This is activation time. Oh, and just a, a quick word on solar flares. I'm not sure why a lot of um, ascension and awakened folks are freaking out about the solar flares. And oh my gosh, I'm I'm vibrating, or I'm so tired, I'm freaking out. Uh, this is evolution. What what did we think was going to happen? <laughs> There's be grateful, you know, be in a state of gratitude that you're awake and know what's going on. I mean, the sun is a consciousness. The sun is a collaboration of consciousness, just like the planet, just like us, all the same. And the sun is the stargate to our solar system. It is a very busy stargate right now. This is 24-7 transformation. The sun is changing itself. Things are coming in and out of the solar system constantly. It is regenerating itself. It's letting these CMEs fly. It is getting hit by pure photonic light as we get into this alignment. And that's its job. It is its job to fully blast us with all kinds of crazy radiation and photonic light, it is not out to get us. <laughs> of course there's going to be change, it's evolution, of course there's going to be radiation, of course there's going to be huge solar storms. And that's, again, make it normal. Don't be freaking out that it looks like, you know, the whole surface of the sun explodes during some of these um, X-class flares. It's fascinating. Share it with people. Share the good part of that so that people don't get locked in fear that, oh my god, X5, oh my god, X6, you know, I, I think the scale goes up to X28 and who knows what that scale is based on. But, uh, you know, bring it on. Okay. And when people get worried about, wow, look at the magnetosphere is freaking out. I love it because that is the the evidence, the proof that everything that is going on within me is happening with the planet and the sun, which of course, we are that. We are the planet. We are Gaia. We are Terra. We are those expressions. We are the higher dimensions. 
even if you're attached to a starseed journey saying, I'm from Vega and this is my first time here, welcome. You are not just a citizen of Vega, you are everything, you are all that is. Anything that has stepped into an, an incarnated vehicle on the planet is assisting in some way. But this isn't all that we are. Nobody was just birthed out of the planet. We have been all over the place and we have many universes to explore. We just happen to be conscious on this level of ourselves, not our higher self, not our soul level, not going up and up and up the stair step all the way back to source. But this is our awareness right here. And if we are aware enough to know that we are everywhere all the time, the great I am that I am, let's not get panicky about what kind of energy we're feeling today. Let's not get panicky when the solar flares start heating up or the earthquakes start rumbling or volcanoes are starting to steam or whatever. Of course they are. Of course. It's evolution. Of course. We're here. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Let's just be grateful that we're witnessing it and participating in changing humanity and the planet to something new where we have the freedom and we have ultimate free will. The whole universe, all of the universe is at our disposal. Ultimately, we already do, but let's know it right on this level and be that way shower, be that light worker, be that awakened consciousness that amplifies everything around you by standing right in your light. And that again is where the freedom comes from. Safety is not about fear. Freedom is your new safety. Safety is freedom and freedom is safety. That is where we are. That is where we're going. We are the ones who are creating this new earth. Let's not wait for anybody else to do it or it will never happen. We'll just have to leave the planet. So let's make sure that we are participating in this process just by being genuine right in your own live stream. And if this is something that you need assistance with, I'm going to plug my Ascension Counseling very quickly right here. If you go to my website at sandrawalter.com, you'll see all of my services there. I'm actually redoing my website right now because I did not anticipate that so many people would be listening to this radio show. And I am thrilled that there are enough people curious about this process and about what I write and speak about that have um, tuned in, so to speak, or at least listening to the archives after the show, which is something you can do anytime. You can click on this link later on and listen to the show if you want to kind of integrate what I've said. And again, if you need assistance, there is no need to suffer through this process. If you know where you are in your awakening and you're getting stuck somewhere or you cannot bridge that conversation with your family and friends and you don't know how to do it, maybe it's not time to do it. Or if it has to happen, maybe you need some help. Give me a call. That is what I'm here for. That is my mission. That is what I do for a living right now. Believe it or not, <laughs> Ascension Counseling is my life. So let's make sure that you get the help that you need. And if you don't resonate with my work, there are plenty of people out there who are willing to do one-on-one -on -one counseling and sessions and healing work with people who need it. Make sure that it is a self-empowered activity that you're getting into. Let's avoid the, the psychic readings and the telling me everything that's going to happen and telling me what my mission is in under an hour. That's not the way to go about it. But make sure that you are getting the help that you need. There are plenty of people out there who are doing this work. So if you need support, look us up. Just give us a Google or visit my site. And I can refer you to somebody else if you don't resonate with my material. Just tell me what your path is. And I'm in touch with a lot of leaders in the shift that would love to help you. And that brings me to the end of this week's show. Thank you so much for joining me. It is always an honor to share this journey with you. It's very exciting. Stay positive. And next week, we're going to talk about multidimensionality. I'm going to share my experiences on multidimensional travel. 
which is uh, which was a big spiritual coming out for me, and uh, should be an interesting conversation. Meanwhile, visit my site at sandrawalter.com and have a beautiful and creative week. This has been Ascension Integration with Sandra Walter. For more information on Ascension or Awakening, visit Sandra on the web at www.sandrawalter.com.